due to the water transplant mentioned in the previous session on living donor organ transplants, considerable controversy arose in Japan over the question, is brain death the death of a human being between the 1980s and the passing of the organ transplant law in 1997? And the controversy continued even after the law came into effect. But first, let us provide a short explanation of the medical aspects of brain death. Brain death is the irreversible loss of function of the entire brain, meaning that it will never recover again. This can happen, for example, when a person sustains a head injury in a traffic accident, or when suffocation causes the heart and lung functions to cease temporarily leading to insufficient supply of oxygen to the brain. Unlike the vegetative state, which is the loss of function of only the cerebrum that controls consciousness, brain death refers to the irreversible loss of function of the whole brain, including the cerebellum, which adjusts movement and posture, and the brain stem, which regulates the respiratory and circulatory functions. After brain death, the heart usually stops beating after several days to several weeks, and the person dies. There are two major points of dispute regarding brain death. The first is whether brain death can be determined with certainty. Cases have been reported where the heart kept beating for more than several weeks even after the tests described above were completed. This is so-called long-term brain death. And there is an opinion that the criteria to determine brain death are inadequate, especially for children who have higher resilience. A response to this argument is that the criteria are well supported, so there should be no problem as long as the doctors conduct brain death determination tests properly. In addition, the criteria for children are stricter than for adults in Japan. For example, for children under six years of age, the second test for determining brain death must be carried out after an interval of at least 24 hours.